literally never get some focus, really. Okay, I just got to my office after a weekend away in Indianapolis. I've been getting here really late. Honestly, I haven't been here that much the last month, which I feel bad about, obviously, because I pay for this space. I was like in this weird transition phase of moving, but I'm moving my mattress into my bedroom tonight. And so I should be able to really get in here more, but I wanted to show you guys basically there's not a lot of updates to this space. I really need to get it going. Um, I have some YouTube stuff. This is from a local Seattle artist. I wanna get it framed. This is actually, my friend gave me this when I moved in here. And just some other stuff. One of these candles. These candles are the actual best. They're the Anthropology Capri Blue Volcano. It's the best smell ever. It really is. So still just this desk area and it gets messy. So I got this glass erase board kind of of whiteboard sort of thing, but it's just glass. It like is really intense and you have to drill it into the wall. So I'm kind of waiting for my dad and this is just the garbage from it. The garbage situation at this loft space, the recycle is always full. I have this lighting setup that I actually still haven't used. I have a little clothing rack. I have all these records that are really cool. I actually want to put these up. And then of course the couch space. And over here, I put these records up like that. I think it looks really cool. Not much has changed, obviously. Oh, the YouTube burnout is real. When you make a YouTube channel in the beginning, it's super fun. It's like the best thing ever. And then when you grow your channel and you hit this point where you get stuck and you don't know how to keep up with it and you just feel burnt out and like uninspired, it's something that happens to literally every single YouTuber. I was reading this article that came out yesterday about this and about like the mental health of YouTubers. I think mental health Health-wise, I'm totally fine, but I do think there are a lot of people who make YouTube videos that are suffering from mental health issues because of, I don't know, like the nature of this kind of job and working by yourself and like to have to rely on views as your livelihood, it can be scary. It definitely scares me. I'm at a point right now, I'm like at my most downward point. Like all of my YouTube channels are constantly losing subscribers. I have the least amount of views per month than I've had since 2015. 14 maybe. It's bad and it's easy to dive into the negatives, but this article said something that a lot of creators should think about doing is, you know, hiring help even if it's one person. That can be really helpful for keeping up on everything and I think it's good to work with other people. I'm like actually out of breath right now. <sighs> this many stairs in a house is like not that Okay, I spent my first night in the new house last night. I'm waiting for my bed to come, but I have a mattress now so I can sleep here. I got a package from Urban Outfitters, so I'm gonna try and put it together. Wish me luck. like this thing, but it's such a bitch to put together. These two sides are not lining up. I do think this thing is super cute. I really like it. I can like put hair products on it, do my hair and makeup in the morning. So Open can. Wait for it. There we go. That's the future, you guys. Simple Human sent me some stuff, including this awesome trash can that opens when you say open can. <laughs> and it has recycle and garbage, so that's pretty awesome. Good morning. Hello. Are you going to go work out? I am going to go work out. Oh, very nice. Good morning, look, I made oatmeal. Aww. Doesn't it look good? No. Shut up, it does. It, it looks very um, Pinteresty. Thank you, I very think. Oh. I made it on the stove and everything. I've been telling everyone, once I move into this place, I will start cooking and nobody believes me. So I'm going to prove them wrong. The thing about it, that is though, there's so many dank food places over here. I know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ready. Go to my office, do stuff. Yeah. Oh, I have nothing really crazy planned for today. I'm actually just gonna like plan so that I can really film something tomorrow. Oh. It is the afternoon. I just spent my morning slash afternoon working out of my office, filming and editing stuff. It's now 3 p.m. and I'm gonna stop home really quick to change into the appropriate clothing. And then I'm off to go to some fun little events tonight.
Walls gaunts that I ordered. Let me show you. Really cool. I can't wait to get it installed. And I'm supposed to be at my office right now. I said I was gonna be there at 10, so I really need to go. I was just getting ready for the day a little bit. I pretty much always do my makeup at my office. So Sammy's in the back editing. She goes back to school on Monday, so you know it was a good summer. Oh my gosh, yeah, no, thank you for coming here and helping me. She helped me edit a lot of stuff, like the $20 Seattle video. So today might be her last day or tomorrow, depending on if she wants to come for a little bit tomorrow. But we're gonna do something fun in the afternoon to celebrate. So we're gonna pick up food from Homegrown, which is so good. I didn't know it's only a Seattle thing, but it's like it's sustainable, really? yeah, yummy oh, food. You'd that. think it'd be like in California. Walking over to a place called Sports Restaurant and Bar. What a creative name, Sports Restaurant and Bar. The reason why we're randomly at 3.40 p.m. going to watch a Marlin Marlins game at a sports bar in Seattle is because my dad was a baseball coach like for high school and one of his former players is starting the Marlins game today. His name's Jeff Brigham, if any of you guys are Marlins fans. He's like a family friend kind of thing, not like super close friend, like I barely ever talked to him, but it is really cool and I definitely want to watch that. This is perfect. Check it out. There's a little TV at our table. Perfect. I think they're pulling him out. Wait, are they? I think the manager just came out. Oh, call of the bullpen. But he was doing so good, okay? In five innings, he did good. That's really good. Also, say hello. This is Eric and Michael. They are director and cinematographer. And we're talking about like film stuff. Eric is a director, but also works at Starbucks as yes, a barista. I do. And how many drinks can you make in a minute? Probably about four minutes. That's yes. crazy. But shout out to my friend Taryn, if she's watching. She can probably do like five or six a minute. She's insane. I think it would take me like five or six minutes to make one. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. I'm getting ready for an Orange Theory fitness class. I made some oatmeal. I wanted to wake up early today and work out because I haven't worked out all week and it's Friday. So I'm feeling kind of ugh. It's super dreary out here. Cloudy, slight rain coming down. Rainy, rainy. Feeling good. Those first 10 minutes though were rough. I felt horrible and was like, I do not want to go work out. Are you kidding me, Monica? Why did you do this to yourself? But getting up in the morning really is just withstanding those first 10 minutes. I would say after about the 10 to 15 mark, I feel fine. Sometimes if I'm waking up earlier than normal, I definitely have like a crash in the afternoon, which sucks. But if you start to get used to what time you're waking up and getting enough sleep, it's just the first 10 minutes that suck. And then you're good throughout the day. This was such a good morning and now it's not because I'm going to be late. And when you're late to a fitness class, like you like can't get in sometimes and like the Orange Theory people called me while I was on my way here and I don't know how to get here so I had directions up and it like messed up the directions so I took a wrong turn that messed me up and put me behind and like ah! I'm not working out today. That's the final consensus. I'll explain at home. Okay, so basically the ETA said I was gonna get there like five minutes before and then the traffic made it just kept climbing higher and higher. The wrong turn like turned into like this like mess basically. Once it said I would get there at 8.05 and I'm new to that studio so I'd have to fill out papers and like all this stuff, I knew I was like too late. So I called them and was like, can I just switch it to tomorrow? But I made all that effort to wake up early, got almost there and then had to come home. So I will not be working out today because that was my only window of opportunity to work out. But oh well, at least I tried. Honestly, I still feel good about trying. <laughs> I'm just gonna erase this morning from my mind. Otherwise it'll frustrate me. Okay. So Ashlyn just checked the mail and has mail from Hawaii because if you guys remember we went to Hawaii and got like tickets for trespassing There's a court date on this paper So we all have to send in our uh, Admission of guilt Admission of guilt something everyone sent theirs in so far but me oops Ashlyn, you know is very responsible. She sent hers in and got it back So actually we find out now how big the fine is for 
and we're all pretty nervous, so. All right. So scared. Here we go. And it's like thick. All right, let's see what it says. I have attached a waiver of physical presence, submission, blah, 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 for your completion. Your case is scheduled for a court hearing on October 10th, blah, blah, blah. If the waiver is not returned by this due date, a bench warrant for your arrest will be issued at so the time. you need to mail yours like now because yeah. you need to get this back and mail the other. No way. <laughs> okay, so it just says return this to court. What? I understand that the maximum penalties are $1,000. Ah! Oh! Or 30 days in jail or both. Fuck it, I'll do both. Let's jail blogs. <laughs> So, I can't go to jail, I'm a student. The officer I can't go to jail, it's a job. <laughs> Seriously. I have a career in order. I can go to jail. <laughs> well, I'll probably get more views. Orange Theory Fitness, take two. I'm going to the noon class, and I'm gonna leave half an hour early this time. Okay, I look really orange because I got a spray tan yesterday, so I'm gonna shower that off now. This is a song for no one. My parents decided to stop by. What are you guys doing tonight? Date night. Date night, we're going to the Carlisle Room for dinner. A it's Tom a Douglas really wonderful restaurant. restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to the Paramount to see Waitress. It's Sunday. I've been having a really chill Sunday, basically. I woke up at 8 a.m., no alarm or anything, just naturally woke up at that time, so that was nice. I made coffee and I immediately got to editing my video that I put up on my main channel, and I pretty much was non-stop editing that with no breaks because I really wanted to be able to get it up today. I don't like to upload things later than 3 p.m. I finished, had it all uploaded, everything thumbnail ready by 2 p.m., so that took up nine, 10, 11, like six Six hours but I loved it and I really want you guys to check it out other than that it's now 4 p.m. and I've literally I've been in my room all day just like doing nothing my room is just like not together yet anyways the last thing I want to show you was I'm gonna center the bed more put the dresser there and then I have a desk from my old apartment that I'm gonna put like right there and then oh super exciting I got some art prints that I'm really stoked about. I am so excited. It's gonna look so cool. It's got like gold leaf. It's awesome. And then I also got nightstands. The two nightstands, the two sconces. I'm not gonna lie you guys. Like, yeah, I'm spending a lot of money on like all this room stuff. Oh my God. Ugh. Part of me doesn't wanna spend this much money on a dresser. No, I'm doing it. I'm getting it. Boom, placing this ridiculous order. Here we go. Here we go.